What's up everybody? Ian here with uh, Redline, working on the uh, doors today. It is Saturday, November 23rd. So I'm about ready to hang the doors on the car, which I've got to do in order to get the, uh, the rear quarters off, take the roof off and all of that. I had some metal work that I wanted to get out of the way on the doors before I hung them on the car, so that's what I'm working on today. Uh, pretty much just fixing everybody else's shoddy work from the past. Um, I'll turn around and show you. So I really should have videoed this stuff up close before I actually started doing any repairs. You can see here that I'm working on filling in this area. There was literally like a, just a chunk missing out of that right there. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a little bit more work back here, filling in the, uh, the holes where the, uh, the trim that doesn't exist anymore goes. I've got to fill in that hole right there. And over here on this door, I had a great big nasty seam that was pushed in probably a quarter of an inch all the way through here. And uh, <clears throat> we basically devised a plan of taking this tool and kind of putting it in from the inside, kind of like this, where that dolly is then held on the inside and started hitting it with a shrinking hammer naturally from the outside. And that drew everything up really nicely. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I should be able to put just a tiny bit of bondy, uh, bottle a tiny bit of bondo on that and it ought to straighten out perfectly. I'm also coming in here and filling in holes on the back side, those trim holes. Uh, you can see just welding all of those in at the front and the rear of the doors. You can see down here I've done basically the same thing. So that hole you saw in the door, I decided to open it out a little bit with a deburring tool. Kind of hit down in there with a wire wheel, put a little weld through primer, and now I'm going to weld a little tiny patch piece into place. Not exactly terribly exciting stuff, I know, uh, but that's what it is building an old muscle car. A um, whole bunch of this stuff is just about as anticlimactic as possible, so if you're going to restore one of these things, you damn sure better enjoy the work. So this is amazing to me. I was just trying to remove a little bit of uh, MIG wire that was left behind by the previous guy who was doing repairs, and he had tried to weld up this trim hole right here, and so I cut off the welding wire, and then I proceeded to take my little handy belt sander on a stick and kind of grind some of his weld down. And that's when I noticed, do you see that right there as I move it? You see the color change? There's a hole in the door. You see that? Uh, so basically, just by removing um, just a little bit of the last guy's repair job, I've opened up a hole in the door. So it's like, here I am looking at the damn doors on this thing saying, well, good God, what can I trust? So, uh, I guess I might as well plan on just digging all of that horse crap out and, and putting more weld in place. Awesome. Well, this old car just keeps throwing me curveballs. Have a look right here at damage I just found. I'm sure you can notice the seam all across here where it almost looks like the door was opened really, really hard, and, you know, the, the giving point was when the hinge uh, ended, you know, its travel, and the, go the door kept trying to go, <clears throat> and obviously gave me another repair. All right, it's Sunday the 24th, November 2019. I'm out here uh, getting the doors mounted on the car, trying to get them lined up. I just wanted to share something really cool. <clears throat> I haven't owned a Supermoto motorcycle in years now, but I have kept my Supermoto uh, dirt bike jack. Um, this, this thing right there, can y'all see that? It's like a three foot tall jack, uh, you know, on wheels. This thing has pedals down here at the bottom of it. You, know, you see right there a, uh, a down pedal and an up pedal. And um, I used this thing previously for placing some uh, bushings on my last truck for the door hinges. And this is the best thing in the world when you're trying to get doors mounted on a car because you can sit there and work those pedals and just raise it or lower it an eighth of an inch, roll the thing in and out, opening and closing the door. It's like having an extra set of hands, but better that never gets tired. Um, if you guys are ever going to work on uh, uh, doors like I'm doing here, um, get yourself one of those little jacks. Those things are the handiest thing in the world, even if you don't have a motorcycle. All right, I got my door in place. I may still make another tweak to it. Um, I don't know. I was really surprised at how long it takes to get a door hung on a car. If you're trying to get, you know, the seam down here with the rocker really, really nice and straight and good, and then you want to get it aligned with the front of the rocker and then of course spaced in and out 
it's a it's a nightmare and it's um it's really a battle of inches it's kind of frustrating too in that you know somebody has put uh rear quarters on this car before and like everything else that was done on it before me everything was a terrible job and so down here you have a great big gap right here that you should not have and as a result you can't really count on the vertical position that you have here trying to line up your door to that because you know that this is horse crap so uh getting this thing placed properly is um it's fun turns out that's like two three hours worth of work just constantly tweaking and moving the door little by little so that's what i've been up to this weekend uh click subscribe if you want to see more give it a thumbs up if you thought it was cool y'all have a good weekend